Kaler and St Ives' Robert Smith. Kaler we see first, and he of course is in line for a crack at the British, British middleweight title. And he fought the Spanish champion Juan Munoz Holgado. Kaler from the left, getting very close indeed to a shot at the British middleweight championship. And facing here this very squat and rather rotund former Spanish middleweight champion, Juan Munoz Holgado. Stopped only once in his professional career, but uh, it's not been a long pro career. He's only had 12 previous fights, Holgado. And yet, he's 31 years old. And that makes him 10 years older than the slim and tall Mark Kalor from West Ham. Spaniard, one of those people who turned pro rather late, perhaps too late, in life. Kalor looking for his 19th successive win as a pro. Well, we shall see tonight just how well Munoz Holgado can soak up punishment because, uh, as sure as could be, he's going to have to take some. He's well outreached. Actually, the last time Kalo was beaten in the ring was in the Moscow Olympics, 1980. The Romanian Silagi beat him in the quarterfinals of those Olympic Games. So Kalor has made as brisk a start as uh, he could. And uh, at the moment, the Spaniard seems to pose few problems. And right on the bell, Holgado is hurt and he goes down on one knee after the bell. And uh, Mr. Jacobs, Mike Jacobs, the referee, gets him up and sends him to his corner where he can have a proper rest on his stool. So some rather serious doubts have been sown in the mind of the Spaniard in the dark trunks. Whether he can really handle this 21-year-old West Ham boy, Mark Kalor, unbeaten as a pro, and in fact hasn't been taken, Kalor, beyond three rounds in his last five fights. And that could well, that record could well be maintained here at the Albert Hall tonight. Former ABA middleweight champion, former National Association of Boys Clubs champion. I remember seeing. So when I first saw Kalor was in the old NABC championships. And again, the delayed action. He's not right down. He's resting on one knee again. I don't think he's going to go on. No, he's had enough. All over. Second round, about 43 or 4 seconds of the second round. And Juan Munoz Holgado, who was the champion of his country earlier this year, has been outclassed by Mark Kalor, who doesn't quite believe it could be as easy as that. But the, uh, the potency of his punching clearly discouraged Holgado, and he showed it at the end of the first round, and he showed it there again early in the second. Just have a look, that was a tremendous bombing right hand, and that was it. He didn't go right down at any point, but what he did know was he wasn't going to get up. Look at the way. 